Morning, everybody. <clears throat> now here at the lake. Y'all have been out here with me before. <laughs> the lake is so down right now. It's crazy how far down it is. Like the water is normally up here, like right around. This is crazy how far down it is. Haven't been getting a lot of rain in this area. Uh, we got a little bit yesterday, just a little bit. Like the weather will say, okay, you're gonna get this such and such amount of rain. Like for instance, you know, it's like 99% at six o'clock yesterday. And we got a few sprinkles. I was like, oh, I was, I, get, I was like mad about it. I was like, oh, this is stupid. Cause for one, I like the rain, right? You know, and it's, so anyway. I just came out here last night because I just wanted to be out of town, but I'm still like right by the road behind these trees. See, I'll show you. The road's just like we're on the other side of your feet and over there. People are so nasty, dude. Like, just come out here, leave your trash stuff. A dude on a motorcycle um, was here last night and he just kind of camped over in the trees over there. So. Um, he's doing his thing. I was over here doing my thing. So, the reason I'm not on the road yet, one of the main reasons, like, the reason I keep taking short trips and uh, here in Arkansas is because for the past 10 years, I have been on parole. <laughs> and uh, the last time I got in trouble, they gave me 30 years with 10 suspended. So it gave me 20 years. I had to do five in prison and 15 years on parole for a little bitty amount of dope. Of course, I shouldn't have been doing what I was doing, right? Yeah, I know that. I try not to play the victim in this stuff, you know? Um, because I just could not choose not to do it. I was like, it's just crazy. Um, um, so addiction is just, been a crazy part of my life so um most of my life but yeah so that's one of the main reasons i'm not like just out on the road and living nomadically and stuff i'm not supposed to get off until 2030 <laughs> and i've been on it since 2015 but i'm eligible to get off early next year and uh, but it's a process but things have been okay i'm on yearly i only see them once a year and uh, so it's not too bad uh, i've been doing that for quite a while now. I don't think I've ever known myself or like known who I am. Um, maybe a glimpse, but not like fully know and accept myself because I've always, I was always a chameleon, right? Always trying to fit in with whatever crowd that I was with, you know, just to try and feel and be accepted. And, um, because I was always lonely growing up because I was always had a lot of, I always had a lot of fear of people and had, had trouble talking and um, so it created a lot of loneliness and uh, so when I started doing uh, started drinking first and so when I started doing that I was able to feel connected to people and I was able to just be myself right so um, and that was the main thing about it, you know? Uh, I could feel like everybody else looked. But I also think that I need to uh, really try and get to know myself and get okay with where I'm at and, and how I want to be and how I want to live and get to a point to where what other people think don't affect me, you know? or at least affect me as much. Because that was always another thing, was being too dependent on how other people seen me or reacted to me or treated me to feel okay about myself. I was okay as long as they were, uh, you know, like treating me like I was cool and like, you no, know, or, or whatever, but any little criticism or like, or treated me like any kind of bad way, then I wasn't so good no more. But the good thing about it is that I don't have to be that way anymore, you know? 
I'm better than I used to be, but I'm still not to where I want to be. But the thing about it is, is I have to accept where I am at the moment. You know, I can't try to push results that aren't there yet. You know, I have to just let them come. And, um, but the most important thing is that they will, they will never come if we don't take the right action to allow them to come. For one, I can't isolate all the time. Some alone time, yes. But I cannot isolate all the time. You know, I need to be around positive people, and positive things with positive outlooks and, and all that and um, to feed positivity to me, you know. But I also have to feed others with it. Whatever you're fed, you need to, you know, feed. You know, it, what comes in, it needs to go out. You need to share it with others. You can't just hold it off for yourself. Things are uh, a lot better. Some, sometimes, like, I still worry about whether what others think about me living in my van. You know? Sometimes. But that's gotten better. I met someone at work yesterday. And... They live in their car, and I never even knew it. He just says he likes to keep it on the DL. Oh, well, pretty much everyone at work knows I live in my van. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some of them were actually envious. But I'm just ready to be free from the system. And um, you know, I've been out of trouble for a long time. And uh, so that's why I'm not just away from Arkansas yeah and out on the road and out doing my thing but it's like I crave to do that and it'll come I just had to be patient being patient is not easy though <laughs> I'm ready to go you know what I mean but the main thing is that no matter where any of us go there we are no if I go somewhere new I might feel the novelty of it and I might feel better for a little bit but Whatever's in here, man, you take it with you. And uh, you're not gonna feel better just because you go somewhere new. Um, you might for a little bit. Uh, but like where I'm at, I've been here the past 30 years and most of those years were in addiction. So everywhere I look and everywhere I go, there's some kind of weighted down memory and it makes me feel weighted down and, um, and I was just ready to go. Um, I'm just, any, anytime that I'm away from here and y'all see me on, my, on camera, uh, I feel lighter and it's great. So that's why I know, you know, I just need somewhere new to go to and just kind of start over and not have a thousand memories just staring me in the face everywhere I go, you know? Anyway, um, so I wanted to make this little short video and I want y'all to know why I'm not out on the road yet. I do live in my van full time. <laughs> yes, it is something I do full time. <laughs> and um, you know, I have my full time job. Oh, and I'm getting ready to go to Joppa next week. And they're gonna have me up there for three months. I'm still gonna make videos. I'm gonna be on call, I'm gonna be working a lot. I'll be able to save a lot of money in those three months, I think, yeah. And um, and hopefully that will give me a kickstart to things. And um, so um, I'll be on call a lot. And so I'm gonna have a lot of, sometimes I'll have a lot of free time on my hands. Um, so anyway, um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here and um, I'll see y'all soon. And uh, keep your heads up, keep pushing forward, and smile, and stay positive. Much love, guys. See ya on the next one.